Hello, and today I'm going to be showcasing my Fallout 4 VR Mod Manager. So, to start off, just opening it up, you'll see that the first thing you're greeted with is Welcome to Nowod's Fallout 4 VR Mod Manager, and it's automatically found my Fallout 4 VR install location, so I can simply click Accept, and then Continue. I'll then get right into the main part of it, so you can see, there are options up here, launch Fallout 4 VR, data folder, upon clicking this it will take me straight into this. There's install new mod, which will allow me to select a new mod to install. Help, which gives me options so I can get some extra help if required, so for example if I click on it. If I need help installing mods or enabling them, click yes for installing mods, click no for enabling them. And it will give me a small rundown. And same for clicking no. And it also gives me a link to the Nexus mods page. So, as you can see, I've got a few mods selected here. To show another feature off, for example, this is a increased build sides mod. If I no longer want this mod, all I have to do is simply click, right click, and delete mod. That mod is now gone and it has been disabled. To show it's downloading a newer mod, I can also get a mod off the Nexus mods page. So if I go into the Nexus mods page and click on a mod that's been popular for a while now. So you can see there are many different options in here. Let's say for example I want to get back that mod I just deleted for the increased build limit. So finding that mod again. I can open it up, click files, click manual download the file will then download upon saving it into my desktop you can see that I've got a 7-zip currently those aren't supported but that isn't going to be a problem if you come across a unsupported option you can simply get the two files out. So for me, there's the .esp and .ba term, and extract them and delete the base file. And I'll have two on the desktop, so I can go into install new mod, desktop, find out the mod I want. So for example, I'm going to just install the ESP, press open, and the mod will have reinstalled itself, and I'm free to delete these. Had those been in a zip, it would have been an even simpler job. I would have been able to click install new mod, select zip and press open. It's automatically extracted and the files are taken out that you needed and put into the data files directory. And that has been a rundown of the features of my Fallout 4 VR mod manager. It's simple, it's lightweight, but it does the job. It's on Nexus mods. If you click the link, you will be presented onto my page. Now it's Fallout 4 VR Mod Manager, currently V1.1.0.1. And to download it, all you have to do is simply click Download Manual. It will then download it for you, and you'll have it. And that's been just about it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.